Okay, this is Matt Werner. Today is August 4th, 2016. I'm in Michigan City, Indiana, and I'm talking to Warren Jones. Um, Warren, go ahead and tell me a little bit about when and where you were born. <laughs> I was born at a little burg by the name of Du Burlington. Uh, my dad was a minister of the Methodist Church there. And in 19, I was born in 1921. And before I was a year old, my dad passed away with pneumonia and left my mother with four children to raise. How she did it during the Depression, I'll never know what she did. Mm -hmm. But anyway, uh, after that, we moved to Modoc, Indiana, and uh, lived there then until uh, I was out of college. Um, went to Modoc High School, all 12 grades, no kindergarten. So one building, one through 12. Oh yeah, one building, mm -hmm. two grades per room. And most of the classes average between 10 and 15. My graduating class, there were 10. So that meant that scholastically, I was always in the top 10 of my class. That's a nice honor. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we had no gymnasium. We had a gravel court. I remember before I ever got to high school, I'd go up to that gravel court and practice shooting, practice shooting. But uh, at one end, we had a basket nailed on to a tree, and at the other end, we had a basket nailed on to a telephone post, and that was our gymnasium. But during the basketball season, we would go to a little town called Los Santville, which was five miles west of Modoc. We went there and practiced one night a week. No heat in the building. We practiced in our long underwear. There was no showers. Everybody drank out of the same water bucket with a dipper. But I enjoyed, I looked forward from one Friday to the next to play basketball. I loved to play basketball. Mm -hmm. I played baseball also, but I, I think I enjoyed basketball more than baseball, mm -hmm. although when I went to Ball State, I tried out for the basketball team, got cut the first night, broke my heart. I knew the coach made a big mistake. Of course. <laughs> but I did play three years of uh, baseball at Ball State. Okay. Played third base. Uh, I, was, I was never a long ball hitter. I know my coach, his name was Billy Williams, he kept working on my stance. He says, Jonesy, he always called me Jonesy. He says, you gotta, you gotta widen your stance. Well, I was not a long ball hitter, but on one game, I knocked one over the fence. That's the only home run I had all three years. And I was, as I was rounding third base on my home run, Coach Williams says, Jonesy, your stance was just right. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Yeah. So back in Modoc, what was the mascot? We didn't have one. Okay. Our, 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 we were named after the Modoc Indians. There was a tribe of Indians called the Modoc Indians. And we were named the Modoc Indians. Okay. Yeah. Now, did you play your games at that gym where you practiced one day yes. a week? Our home games were there. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, but... Uh, some of the gyms were quite small. Uh, you couldn't, if you tried a long shot, you had to keep the ball low or it would hit the ceiling mm -hmm. before it ever got to the bank board. But who cared? We were playing. Right. We were playing and we enjoyed it. Yeah. Now, what was the name of the town where you guys practiced one day a week again? Losantville. Losantville. Losant. Losant. S-A-N-T. Losant. Losant. Bill. Okay. What was that gymnasium like? Well, it was a good gym. It was a community building, really. I suppose it would seat at the most 200. They had bleachers on each side. 
but at the most. And when I was in high school, Matt, the uh, ten second rule came into being. This was this was about 1937, I think, when the te- ten second rule came into being. Mm-hmm. And uh, while I was in high school, they also changed the rule. My first my first two years of high school, you went back to the center jump after every free throw and basket, but back to the center jump. Mm-hmm. And if you had a tall center, he had a big advantage because he could get the tip. Mm-hmm. But uh, though that those two rules changed, and no dunking, and our, all of our shots, it, would, it wasn't a one-handed shot, it was always Set two-handed shots. shot. If you shot a one-handed shot, you were a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, those two rules came into being while I was in high school, the 10-second rule and the uh, taking the ball out of bounds instead of going back to the center jump all the time. So what was it like adapting to that? Well, it was fun. It was fun. It, it didn't take as long. And uh, as a result, the scores were a little higher. Now at that point, when I, most before that came into being, I suppose if you scored over 30 points, there's a lot of points. Mm-hmm. But after that came into being, you round you got into into the forties and sometimes fifties. Mm-hmm. But uh, it, it changed the game. It changed the game. Was it a lot more fun to play after they? Yeah, I it? thought so. I thought so. The game was a lot more active, mm-hmm. and uh, you didn't have to go back to the center centers up all the time and waste time. Mm-hmm. You just take the, took the ball out of bounds and played ball. Yeah. Yeah. Now, did Modoc? When you did you play all four years of high school? Yes, yeah, all four mm-hmm. years. Uh huh. Now, how big were you? Were you a guard or? I was a guard, and I was five seven. Five seven. Mm-hmm. Do you have any big players on the team? Not really. Our our center was probably not quite six foot, but it was a small team. And most of most of the team members were farmer boys. I mean, I lived on a farm when I was in high school, when I was in Modoc. Mm-hmm. So most of the boys that played were farmers. Mm-hmm. So you only had uh, like fifty kids in the entire high school at Modoc. You That's just right. told me. Yeah. Uh, so that means there were probably about twenty-five boys to pick from, roughly. That's probably about it. Yeah. Okay. That's about it. Did everybody go out for the team? No. Okay. No, not everybody, but uh, no, some of them were not athletes, mm-hmm. but uh, we enjoyed, yeah. we enjoyed and we looked forward to playing. Our coach, his name was Paul Sharp, and uh, he, was, he was a nice guy, he was good to play for, mm-hmm. yeah. Now you practice one day a week at the other town. Uh, did you actually practice in the gravel lot next to the school no, too? No, okay. No, we never practiced there. We we go at recess or uh, at noon or in the evening we'd go out and sh- you know and shoot baskets. Mm-hmm. But we never practiced there really. Uh, okay. No. So how'd you guys do? Uh, how did your team do the Modoc Indians when you were in high school? Well, our two rivals were Losantville and Huntsville. Huntsville was five miles east of Modoc, and Losantville was five miles west of Modoc. And if we could beat those two teams during the season, it was a successful season, <laughs> really. Uh, I doubt if there were many years that we won more than we lost. Mm-hmm. I mean, we weren't that good, mm-hmm. but uh, but as long as we could beat Huntsville or Sattville, that was, was a good season. Mm-hmm. Just like Michigan City and Laporte. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you yeah. beat Laporte, you got a you got a good season. Did you did you beat both of them in one season ever? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, where is that? I don't know. Yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah, we did. I think it's got. Well, anyway, we did. <laughs> I'll see if I can. Yeah, we did. We did. Okay. Uh, 
we beat them both. And my brother, my older brother, he was coach of the Huntsville team. Really? Yep. That had and, to make uh, it interesting. Yeah. And if he he if he if Huntsville beat us, as soon as I would come home, I, I'd go to bed before he'd come home because I didn't want to talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> and vice versa. <laughs> How much older was he? Well, he was twelve years older than I. Twelve years. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And he was still living at the farm at the time. Yeah. Ah, uh, here it is. It says you won, uh, winning over Hunt in your, in your uh, uh, yearbook, 1939 yearbook. Says by winning over Huntsville and Los Santosville in our scheduled basketball games this year, our season could be called a success. That's it. <laughs> our second win over Los Santosville was our eighth consecutive victory over them, and the last win over Huntsville was the seventh consecutive win over them. So you guys are doing pretty good in those rivalries. We beat them, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, now, what county was that in? Randolph. Randolph County. Winchester was the county seat, and it was 25 miles southeast of Muncie. But Muncie was in Delaware County, and uh, Modoc and Huntsville and Losantville were in Randolph County. There, was, there were 16 teams in Randolph County, all small schools except mm -hmm. Winchester. Mm -hmm. And Union City. Those are those are the big ones. Okay. Yeah. So you probably didn't play very many games outside Randolph County then. No, no. We played one. I remember we our principal was from a little burg called Advance. It's near Lebanon, Indiana. Okay. And he always scheduled us to play his home school, Advance. It was, it was at least an hour and a half drive to get there. <laughs> but we played them. And uh, I, th I, think we about, I think we broke even with that advance. Mm -hmm. They won a couple, and I think we won a couple. How'd you guys get to the game to, to advance? A uh, school bus. Okay, you actually rode a bus? Yeah, we had a school bus. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was probably an hour and a half. That was probably a cold ride. <laughs> yeah, I hadn't thought of that. But we didn't care mm -hmm. as long as we got to play. <laughs> yeah, as long as we got to play, Matt. That was the main thing. Did the did the basketball still have uh, laces in them at that time? Did the what? Did the basketball still have the laces in them, or was that a thing of the past already? The laces were still in them. Okay. Yeah, the laces were still in them. Yeah. I've never. I've always wondered. Was that difficult to dribble a ball with the laces in it? No. Okay. Not really. Not really. Uh uh. No. Yeah, and nothing you notice. I always wondered when I looked at that, I'm like, I wonder if that was difficult to dribble. But you know, I had a basket attached to the barn where we lived. Mm -hmm. And on a weekend, the guys would come there and we'd, we'd play basketball in, in the chicken lot. But the only problem is, the wall got full of chicken poop every now and then. We had to stop and clean it off before we could go ahead and play. <laughs> but with just the one basket on the barn. Okay. But we had fun. Oh, that's when the real practice probably took oh, place. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember playing in the barn, and that's where the real games happened. You betcha. No doubt about that. Were there any interesting games that you can recall? Where anything interesting or unusual happened or a big victory? We never, in the sectional tournament, we got as far as the semifinals one year. My senior year, or junior year, junior year, we got as far as the semifinals. And the team that beat us was a little school by the name of Wayne. And that's the best we did. That's, and Wayne went on, then, then the regional tournament was held at Muncie. And Wayne went to Muncie, and of course they got beat. Okay. But, uh, no. Did you play the sectional? Was that held in Winchester? Yes, that was held in Winchester. Yeah. What kind of gym did they have? Not very big, and it was, it was, do you remember the old Laporte Civic Center? Yeah. 
It was much like that. Oh, okay. Very much like that. Yeah, so the raised seats yeah. off the floor, yeah. uh, sat maybe 1,000, 1,200 people. Yeah. yeah. Something and, like that. Yeah. Okay. So that was pretty nice, you know, small in terms of seating capacity, but at least a nice full-size gym with a high ceiling yeah. and everything. Yeah. There were, uh, there were 16 teams. Was that... What was there was uh, Winchester and Union City. City were the two biggest schools. They were the biggest schools. Were they probably the only ones that had high ceiling gyms? Probably. I never played in the Union City gym, mm -hmm. but I played in the Winchester gym. Parker had a good gym, and Farmland had a pretty nice gym. Mm -hmm. But other than that, the gyms were pretty, pretty iffy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the way it goes. At least you're playing. We didn't care. We just played. Yeah. Yeah. Did they have a county tournament or a conference tournament? No. We weren't in a conference, mm -hmm. and there was no county tournament. Uh -uh. Okay. No. Yeah. Now here, they always had a county tournament. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. But you did, I mean, you did pretty good on your team as far as as a player. Well... I was a decent shot. Uh, I could move reasonably well, mm -hmm. but uh, I think maybe I did most of the shooting on the team. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> now you received an award your senior year, right? Yeah, yeah. And that was your all county. All county, and uh, and at the sectional tournament that year we went got beat by Wayne the winners. I made the all tourney team. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to read another part out of your yearbook here um, really quick, just because I think it's interesting. <clears throat> it says, by averaging, by averaging 12 points per game last year, Jones earned the honor of being high scorer of the county. Not just Modoc, the whole county, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This worked a hardship for him, however, and the watchword of opposing teams was watch Jones, get Jones. Coupled with this, illness and injuries kept him out of several games and the tournament. But after all, he came out with an average of 11 points per game this year, which would have been your senior year. year. Yeah. That's pretty good, averaging 12 and then 11, and you know the scores didn't get much out of the 40s or maybe 50. Most of the time in the 30s. Okay. Most of the time in the 30s. So yeah. you were scoring you know, a third of your team's points at the time. Yeah. High school in the county. That's pretty cool. So graduated with ten people from Modoc High School. You guys put together this. I think it's pretty nice uh, yeah, yearbook. A senior class put that yearbook together. That's the first yearbook they ever had at Modoc. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, it looks like you guys had to type every single page. Even you did. I was gonna say this doesn't look like mimeograph or anything. We had, no, we had a typing class, and. Uh, we did all the typing. Mm -hmm. 